Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to find the domain of linear, quadratic, radical, and rational functions. So what is a domain? A domain of a function is the set of input or argument values for which the function is real and defined. In simpler terms, the domain is all the values of x that we can plug into the function, keeping the function real and defined. Here is an image to better understand what a domain is. First, we'll talk about the domain of linear and quadratic functions. The domain of linear and quadratic functions are negative infinity to infinity. This means that their domain has no restrictions unless it is a piecewise function. Here is an image of a quadratic function, x squared. You can easily see that there is no restriction on the domain. Now we will talk about the domain of radical functions. Radical functions are real when the expression in the radical is not negative. In order to find the domain of radical functions, first set the expression under the radical greater than or equal to zero to find where the function is real. Next, solve for x to get the domain. Here is the graph of a radical function square root of x. We can see that the function is not real when x is less than zero since it's not part of the domain. Next, we'll talk about rational functions. Rational functions are undefined when their denominator equals zero. This is the restriction on the domain. In order to find the domain of rational functions, first set the expression in the denominator equal to zero. Next, solve for x to see what value or values is not in the domain. Here's the graph of the rational function x plus one over x minus one. We can see that the domain is undefined when x equals one. Let's see some examples. First example, we want to find the domain of five times the square root of x plus three minus four. Since we're finding the domain of a square root, we take the expression in the radical and set it greater than or equal to zero. We can subtract three from each side next and get our domain. x is greater than or equal to negative three. And you can find the interval notation beside the inner quality. Next example, we want to find the domain of 2 times the square root of x squared minus 9. Since it's a square root, we take the expression inside the radical and set it greater than or equal to 0. Next, we add 9 to both sides. For our next step, we'll use this handy identity. So we get x is greater than or equal to 3, or x is less than or equal to negative 3. That is our domain. Last example, we want to find the domain of x over x squared minus 6x plus 8. Since it is a rational function, we'll take the denominator and set it equal to 0. We can factor the quadratic to solve for x. We get x minus 4 times x minus 2 equals 0. Now we can solve for x. We get x equals 4 or x equals 2. That means whenever x equals 2 or x equals 4, the function is undefined, so our domain cannot include these values. Therefore, our domain is x is less than 2, x is less than 4 and greater than 2, or x is greater than 4. As long as you can remember the steps of finding the domain of a function and the definition of a domain, you will master this topic. For more help or practice on this topic, go to www.symbolab.com and click on the Practice tab.